the extreme weather with more than 40 million Americans at risk for flooding or severe storms today. The culprit, three storms stretching from the Midwest to the eastern seaboard, including the remains of Tropical Storm Bill. And Rob is tracking it all for us. Rob, good morning. Good morning, Dan. Bill has held together remarkably well over the past several days. Now moving to the northeast with some heavier rain. Another pulse of some energy rolling through Chicago last night. And there's your third Miss Midwest storm. All of these firing up rough weather last night. Overnight, intense lightning, brightening dark skies across the country, hitting the John Hancock Building in Chicago and nonstop flashes in D.C. In South Dakota, baseball-sized hail crashing to the ground. That biggest one's three inches in diameter. Wind so powerful, trees leaning sideways in Albia, Iowa. Power lines toppled there. In the mid-Atlantic, nearly 60,000 residents without power. Heavy rains causing roadway closures in Missouri. Remnants of Tropical Storm Bill forcing fire crews to rescue people from flooded homes in Illinois. And a boy playing with friends in a drainage ditch, unable to swim out. His friends grabbing his arms, trying to lift him, but can't. He's getting sucked under. Ah. Jesus, please help this kid right now. Do not, do not let him drown. Witnesses struggling frantically. Finally, pulling him out of the pipe. Today, that boy bruised and battered, but safe. Scary times across southern Illinois. Another one to two inches expected there today with system number two. And left of Bill, two to four inches potentially across parts of the northeast. Where they could use the rain out west, they're not going to get a high pressure control completely dry, really, across the entire west coast. And we've got some red flag warnings, and the heat continues. Not good news for the fires out there, Paula.